Hello there, my name is Yorkie and welcome to the channel for some Assetto Corsa Competizione multiplayer gameplay with the GT4 cars. We're going to be driving around Circuit Zolder and we're driving the Maserati as well. Probably the best sounding car that is here in the pack and possibly the best sounding car in the game. Now, this is the setup that I am running. I haven't really done much here. Um, literally aggressive preset. I've fine-tuned the tire pressures a little bit more. They're not perfect, I don't think, but they're better than the default setup. I've reduced the camber slightly at the front. I am going to increase the of those a little bit more. Um, increase the rear camber just a tad. Can't touch anything here. There's no ABS or traction control at all on this car and only a single ECU map as well. Uh... Chuck in 45 litres of fuel. Hopefully that'll do the entire race distance. Um, not too much to fiddle around with here. There are some things that we can obviously tune and adjust. We can't adjust anti-roll bars. Oh, we got our rear anti-roll bar, just not our front anti-roll bar. Um, damper's not really much to, ch uh, much to change. And then not a huge amount to change here in the braking. I'm going to just do that with the brake duts as well. So that is going to be... Uh, pretty much the setup for the car. Going to be starting P14. Didn't really exactly have the, uh, oh, excuse me, didn't exactly have the best of qualifying sessions. Nice new uh, flashing drive button here. Telling me that I need to uh, click on that in order to get ready for the race. Here we are. Oh, it's a 15 minute race, not a 20 minute race. So I probably got a bit too much more fuel than uh, is actually needed. I think this is going to be the, uh, the short formation lap. Indeed it is. But yes, here we go. Getting ready. Ready to unleash the beast that is the Maserati. The sound. Here we go. So no ABS, no traction control. It's going to make the start of this race interesting. So is the uh, the lack of tyre warmers. So the cold brakes and cold tyres are very much a thing that I need to be wary and careful of until the car gets up to optimal temperatures. Downshifts in this thing, super aggressive. It blips the throttle. McLaren here on the outside. Clear on the right. Just about managing to filter through the chicane. Johansson. Managed to nip around the outside there. Give me a bit of a squeeze and a pinch at the apex. Come into the second chicane. Taking plenty of curb. A little bit too much curb. A nice pack of cars up in front, so hopefully we can keep up with them and uh, get involved as well. The aggressive downshifts, two McLarens making contact with each other. Oh, just about managed to squeeze through there. Drift up coming off the final turn. Got some space to the cars behind, which is quite nice. So let's focus on these uh these in front. I do have to say Maserati sounding absolutely fantastic. As I said, probably the best car, best sounding car in the game. In terms of the handling, feels alright. Doesn't seem to be too great at anything in particular. But then again, the only other car that I've driven is the uh, is the Janetta so far. So I haven't really been able to compare it to any of the other GT4 cars in the field. Obviously, 
the lack of traction control, the lack of ABS makes it uh, interesting and difficult. It's a slight lock up there going into that second chicane. Probably contributed to me going uh, going in too deep. Trying to be so careful on the brakes. Got quite a bit of torque as well, so when coming off the really slow corners, very easy to uh, spin up the rear wheels. Don't really ever need to use first first gear in this car, except for when pulling away, pretty much almost immediately shift up into second. Even on the pit speed limiter, it's best going in second because as soon as the re limiter releases, you're straight at the, uh, the top of the rev range for uh, first gear. Just like we mentioned, to keep pace with the cars in front, not really making any headway in terms of closing that gap down, the car sliding a little bit there through the long right hander. Obviously, using the track IR to. Uh, Look around, double check the mirrors and everything. Chuck the car in. Clobber the curb, kick of oversteer. That's a car facing the wrong way. <laughs> Should get the car slowed down this time. For the second chicane. We're up in a P7. See if we can get this BMW that's here in front of us. We were catching that Mercedes as well. Till messed up the uh, second chicane. Carl wanting to start a breakaway a little bit loose there. But just trying to be careful with that. Probably could hold third going through the uh, the last two corners. Yellow flag ahead. Oh. Couple more spinners. A few more freebies. Nine and a half minutes remaining. Car feeling pretty good through the long sweeping right hander. Tire pressures are in and around the right window. Maybe a little bit high on a couple of them. Not too bad. Clubber in the curves once again. Neater that time than the uh, the last the last lap. Oh, fair gear through there. That time round. Might have been a little bit more stable than using second. Definitely need second gear for this uh, this hairpin. Guys up in front, I'm in a little bit of a tussle. Let's try third gear this time, coming through here. Well, halfway decent. I think second gear does feel better. Hooks into the corners a little bit more. Bit of oversteer that. And again, having to get out of the throttle that time as well. Cost me time. Closing up on the guys in front. I think the Maserati excels in the uh, the high speed turns more than anything. It doesn't really do too great in the slower speed corners. The 
There we go, they're in a good tussle now. There's that oversteer on the exit. That talk that I was talking about. A little bit too much wheel spin, a little bit too eager with the uh, the throttle. Seems that like BMW had a, uh, a dry fruit. This car's not too great with the curbs. Notice that much. That struggle a little bit. Really eat them up. Especially here around Zolder as well. Or oh, BMW's deep. Mercedes is compromised. Got a bit of a run here. Close enough. Holding on to them. Better smoother run that time coming off the hairpin than the previous lap. Just a little bit more cautious with the throttle. Something you do need to be with the uh, with the Maserati. behind the BMW now, but he's pulling away on the straight. Looks like he's got the pace in the straight lines. That's him deep though, he's going to have to hesitate on the throttle. He's on the grass and gravel out the wide. That's the position. Now the attention turns to the Mercedes in front. We've been catching him pretty much all race long. Four minutes in order to try and make the pass and the car's trying to break away a little bit there. It's a little bit too much brake coming into the corner. And too much of the weight forwards. Obviously with these cars having quite a big lack of downforce. They're all relying on mechanical grip so it's key to get the weight in the right places for the uh, turning and cornering. And coming out through the corners, making sure that you're not overloading the tyres too much. These, these tyres are quite slim and skinny in comparison to the GT3 cars. They're not as wide, therefore they have a little bit less grip. Second gear I need. Obviously with the lack of aids on this car, it's, um, it's going to make tyre wear a bit more of a... Potential issue over a course of a longer race. BMW still a bit behind, which is quite nice, but we've lost ground to the uh, the Mercedes in front, which is annoying. Nice sweeping line there through turn one. wide there on the exit of two. Three's almost non-existent, just kind of follows on from two Renara into turn four. No is a good strong point for the car. Bounce our way over the curves quite nicely that. Nice and smooth. Car just bit a little bit too hard there with the throttle.
I was saying in the last video that the cars are a bit more progressive in the slide. Or at least that's what I found with the Janetta. With this car, it is a little bit more snappy. The car kind of rescues itself a little bit more. Yeah, the car rescues itself a little bit more. Um, so it's quite easy to overcorrect a slide in the Maserati. Janetta's a bit more forgiving. The window of uh, slip is wider. play with the car inside that window a little bit more as again the BMW is very very Clear deep. On the right. Clear on the right. Oh, it does feel really good through the uh, sweeping corner of turn three. Slow car ahead. Oh, all the race leaders been off. Let's move at that time through the chicane. No real issues, although a bit of a slide there coming off the exit of the right hander. Not point eight seconds behind. Gaps are obviously a little bit different to uh, GT3 cars. You would have thought a not point. Seven gap is still a reasonable one for well, the GT3s, but for well, the GT4 cars, it's actually quite a bit closer. Obviously, the speed difference isn't quite as high. Or should I say, the speed isn't quite as high. Just dip the wheels onto the uh, onto the gravel. Right, he's still behind. Really does close up an awful lot in the uh, chicanes. Does the BMW? See, this is the last lap of the race, so we've got to be careful that he doesn't go for the lunge coming into the braking zone here. A good drive coming off of this corner, and that was definitely not it. Managed to keep the engine running. Oh. That was a little bit frustrating. Silly little mistake there, just a little bit too much throttle coming off the corner. Gonna cost me two positions. Either way, that was a fun little race, driving the Maserati. Obviously sounding absolutely mental and fantastic. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Links to my social media also down in the description too. Otherwise, please consider subscribing to the channel. It would be very much appreciated and you won't miss out on any future content that way. So other than that, thanks for watching. Have fun, stay safe and take care.